know guys i'm out of ideas of how <laughs> to start the show but yeah we'll just get right into it um have you ever gone through stuff to the point that you just say god hates me i mean you know god is there you know god is 100 percent legit but you just come out and say oh my god i think god hates me for whatever reason he hates me i don't know why but i think god hates me and i think many people have gone through seasons like that many people have gone through phases like that there are a lot of encounters whereby people have gone through this i mean life itself is a cycle like that it always brings you up and down and up and down and you just have to endure through the pain and everything i know of a story of jesus who is god and jesus was on the cross and jesus on the cross he shouted oh lord why have you forsaken he was at a place of emptiness at that point all the sin everything that is inside of uh, was inside of him just led him to ask why have you forsaken me you know which means it's a natural instinct or a natural reaction that comes to one who authentically believes that there is god and this god is my savior and this god is my father it's natural for you to then come out and react saying why do you hate me or why have you forsaken me i'm just here to say to you that it is important for you to keep your values and your beliefs at that point because you have not been forsaken you are not hated you are just going through life i mean there's a man in in the old testament um some scholars say it was the first book to be written in the whole bible which is the book of job and job was a dedicated uh, believer i should use the term he was so dedicated he did everything top notch he had a really good relationship with god and he got into a situation because of his love for god he loved god so much that he had to be um tested and job wrote a lot of speeches when he was going through stuff and one story of his um popped up popped out to me and with you understanding the story of job that he was perfect he did everything perfectly he had a really good relationship with god and then um the devil and you know his strategy is he just said it to go to god and be like you know what i can tempt him and god was like yeah 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 cool you know what i'm saying you know the gist of the story so we know that job has been in a really good place with god then this struck now job when he was now giving his fifth speech to god which is found in chapter number 16 i am particular about verse 9 
he mentioned that oh god the one who hates me that's the word he use he uses he uses god the one who hates me which was not true because god um, job was actually a beloved of god like that you understand what i mean so we actually get to see that his reaction was the reaction that you are probably possibly having right now that god hates me oh my god you forget all the things that have gone good for you all the things that all that relationship all those conversations you had with god and a little shaking comes say god hates you but i'm here to tell you that when you say god hates you it's okay you are just having a human experience like what we talked about earlier but don't stop there my message today is don't stop there god doesn't hate you actually god loves you the relationship you had with him was authentic what you are going through right now has absolutely nothing to do with him hating or loving you right in fact in the instance of job and jesus that we referenced you would actually understand that they were going through those things because god trusted them so much yes so you actually have to take it an extra mile to be strong in your relationship with god so that you actually get to know that this that is happening has absolutely nothing to do with the hate and love this is just a human experience god's um place in terms of loving you is not going to change for he loved the world so much he gave his son he loved you so much he gave his son that is not going to change he doesn't hate you in fact he loves you so much he just wants a relationship with you he wants a relationship which is so strong with you he even trusts you all you just got to do is to go back to that relationship because that relationship you had with him is the same relationship that has answers to whatever you are going through or whatever that could be going through at that particular moment so be encouraged he loves you he won't change he does not hate you that's the message for today okay bye